Hey guys, Momo here. Welcome to part 1 of my Final Fantasy 4 Let's Play slash walkthrough. This is going to be the first in a huge series I've got planned where I'm really going to be trying to play through every single Final Fantasy game there is. Obviously this is going to be a really huge undertaking and I'd love for all of you to try and join me on this experience. If you'd like more info, please feel free to check out my blog where there will be a ton of other fun content over there, not just Final Fantasy. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to follow me on this journey. And now that we have the shameless plugins out of the way, let's begin the game. Fade to white and here we go. Alright, so as you guys can see, we're going to be playing the PSP version of this game. I've never actually played the PSP version myself. I've always really stuck to the DS version. I've just had the PSP version to play the after years. And now we meet our main character, the first most important guy in the game, and his name is Cecil. I don't know guys, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. You know, I guess names like Cloud and Squall or even Lightning, they're not as bad, they're just, Cecil doesn't stay in your head, I just feel like it's so, doesn't exactly excite me. Even though he's got this really badass knight's armor on. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit brutal. That's that's brutal. And now they wheel on the white mage. And it's a chick. I'm like, yo, chivalry, chivalry died a long time ago. It's not just dead today. This, this weirds me out. This really does weird me out. Because how is it that our goons take out those three guys in one hit and we hit this old dude? And he doesn't even drop, he just like closes his eyes and walks out of the way. I guess it's maybe he's not intimidated by your name, Cecil. Sorry. The Red Wings are supposed to protect people, not harm them. Okay, so uh, just by inference, you guys can see that the Red Wings are like a military branch of this big important kingdom named Baron. And that's all there is to it, and it seems like they've lost their vision as such. The Crystal's power. You know, I've played Final Fantasy IV many times I'm not gonna even lie about that but they never explicitly tell you what the crystals do it's always just everybody wants them there's this ancient and powerful magical artifact but it's the one ring from Lord of the Rings all over again no one actually tells you what the damn thing does and that bothers me I want to know what the crystal actually does why do people want it really and here we have our first battle of the game we fire off the cannons and Let's go. Wait, 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 hold on. I didn't do that. I didn't select to use any red fangs or anything. Well, I guess the game automates this part of the battles for you just to get you used to the animation and stuff. And here we go again. Again, I did not use that blue fang, but I gotta say though, the animation looks sick. This animation is awesome. They've really updated the graphics very well compared to the advanced version. And I love, you know, details like this is what really, really makes a game for me. Like, check out these scratch marks, check out the busted up pieces on the ship. You don't see that. I love little details. I live for this shit. And we're landing in Baron now, so I guess the story is moving on. Hear the music? Okay, not to spoil anything, but guys, remember this dude Bagan. Remember him, he's gonna be coming back. Alright. So, showing pity, a normal human trait, is not acceptable in Baron. I really like how they've got this code of conduct down. Ooh, treasure chest. We're gonna be coming back for those. You can bet your ass, we're gonna come back for those. Yeah, because really, this isn't, that's not suspicious at all. Bagan just wants to speak to his majesty before you see him. They're going to go gossip about you, Cecil. They're going to talk behind your back. Wait, wait. <laughs> wow. That's, that's straight to the point. Get into this gossip. Don't even bother having a cup of tea first. I love it. I love it. And now that you've finished slandering our name, yeah, you can just call us in, Bagan. It's cool. Why isn't there another face at the back of your sprite? Why? 
straight to the point again. I really like this king. And we just slaughtered innocence to get a hold of that crystal. We just hand it over. I love it. Simple. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like Cecil's having second thoughts about all of this. I would. Did they just have like little seizures up there? <laughs> you gotta love these 2D sprites. I love it. Okay. Oh, oh, so your men are confused in display, Cecil. Yeah, yeah. Yo, my men are just in a bad space right now. They don't trust you. Me, me, I'm good. I don't, uh, I don't question you at all. You tell me what to do, I do it. You tell me how to jump, I'll ask you how high. That's just how I am. I'm the captain of your Red Wings. But my men aren't happy. <laughs> I don't know why. I just find that that's so funny. <laughs> The way they do that. And here we have Kane. Alright, spoiler alert, Kane is really the most badass character in this game. Like really, I love his character arc and I have to say, if you play the DS version, you'll hear the voice actor just captures the essence so perfectly. I really, I really, really suggest you guys go and check that video out. Does calling your majesty all the time help? I'm just curious. Ah, Kane, you're like the perfect best friend. Honestly, you really are. <laughs> Just comfort me when I'm down. I like it. Oh, so we finally gained control of our man Cecil. So let's have a look at what happens here. Let's take a look at his stats and stuff. You can see right off the bat with high strength, speed and stamina that Cecil is really a kind of physical based character. Also, the fact that he has a zero MP is kind of gives it away but what really bothers me here is his intellect i mean okay i know it's a gameplay mechanic but square enix if you're listening try and find a better term for magic power because intellect it just raises so many questions like he's a general of an army and he's got an intellect level of six <laughs> makes sense makes sense to me i mean there's nothing weird about that just i don't know man you'll see later in the game i'll make this reference again and for equipment, it seems Cecil's got himself equipped with a dark shield, dark sword, dark helm, dark armor, dark gloves. And the fact that I said that all without a stutter, that means something to me, guys. But So Cecil's basically a poster child for the medieval emo kid. And you can see his ability, Darkness. Again with the dark theme, sacrifice some of your own HP to damage all enemies. We're going to test this thing out, um, but it seems like it's going to have some applications. But I don't really recommend it for boss battles, cause just simply because you need to have your HP up. Right, let's change some settings as well. Battle speed, we're gonna, I'm going to leave it at 3 just because um, we don't need it to be too fast while we're getting used to the game. And I'm a very fast reader, so I'm going to change the battle message to 1 to make it as fast as possible. And also, just to make traveling around easier, I'm going to put the dash on as well so that we move a little bit faster. And to put the cursor on keep as well, it just makes things a little bit easier when you're trying to just repeat and repeat and repeat. Character art we're going to leave on, music selection. Being that it's 2020, I'm going to stick with the arrangement. Progression, people, progression. Yep, let's stay on, let's stay on arrangement. ATV gauge on, that's fine. Battle order, let's put that on as well. Window design is ecstatic, so I'm not going to be messing with it. Yep, and that's all the settings we can do. If you go over here, you can speak to Kane if you want all the soldiers, but they don't really tell you anything of note, so I'm not going to. So let's instead head south in here and let's get those treasure chests I spotted earlier. Eagle eye, fellas, eagle eye. Okay, press this really obvious wall switch. You just press X when you're looking at it and that'll open the wall and now we can go and loot. Okay, Ether, Cecil doesn't really have MP, but this is an item that restores MP, so just keep an eye on it, even though Cecil has zero. Dents are great, they restore 1000 MP, 1000 HP, excuse me, and 100 MP, but they can only be used at certain points on the world map. Again, good to have, especially seeing as Cecil has no healing abilities. 480 gil, okay, gil is the money of the Final Fantasy world. You use it for a variety of things, and obviously you want to have gil as much as you can. If you go up this way, it's a dead end, so let's not waste our time, and instead let's go to the left. And down we go. And here is Rosa. You can't really see it this much in the PSP version, but trust me, one look at Rosa's outfit tells you 
everything you need to know about her role in the story. I mean, it, it's clear she's the love interest. She's pretty, she's not wearing anything. It's a Final Fantasy thing, guys. Let's let's be honest here. Okay, she's going to buzzard us later. That's great. Just stop for that last look back. I mean, I love it. And who's this? Sid. Well, well, well. Look who's back on skate. Is he waving at us or is he waving at Cecil? I don't know. It's like he almost broke the fourth wall there. Alright. Okay, so clearly something's going on between Rosa and Cecil. I mean, the game's pretty much forcing the matter with us. I take these ellipses. Okay. I take all those ellipses to mean we've just related what happened to Sid right now. <laughs> I love his, everyone's confidence in Cecil, it's awesome. So, it's clear just by the way everyone is talking that His Majesty hasn't been himself. I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. So, basically all we gotta do now is just head up to the top and let's leave. We're gonna sleep for the night and tomorrow morning the real stuff begins. So just head all over to the bed and it'll automatically go to sleep. Um, just a little bit of questions here. Um, is he talking out loud or is this his thought process? Is this a soliloquy? I don't know. Look, I talk to myself all the time in my head. You know, one requires intelligent conversation now and again. And here's Rosa. Hmm. Wonder what's going to happen now, especially with that romantic music. Nah, nah, it's just going to be a DMC, which, which is cool, which is cool. Everyone loves a good DMC. So now we're really getting an insight into how Cecil feels, but this raises all sorts of questions for me. Like, does being a Dark Knight inherently make you evil? Or is it just like a choice thing? I don't know. Does having a class, does it really affect your character? I know that, like, based on how... You, you are as a person really does influence the type of job you take, but I don't know. Being a Dark Knight, does it really make you evil? Because the way pe the way they all the characters in game here, they just bash on the Dark Knight class. So it makes you wonder how good actually is it? Yeah, because you know, yeah. Thanks, Final Fantasy, for teaching us this. Because you know, there's no such thing as inclusivity or in equality. You know, yo, it's not that <laughs> racism. It's well, like. Jobson? Should we look at that? <laughs> question for the philosophers. <laughs> Definitely a question for the philosophers. I love this look. Whoa. Now, this I can get behind. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this music. I'm in it. We're off to do something big. We're off to do something legendary. I love it. And so the Dark Knight Cecil was stripped of his command as the red captain of the Red Wings. He and the Master Dragoon Kane head towards the Dark Valley for the Village of Mist. Yeah, this just works well with the dramatic music and all of the this really spacey interlock. But I was just getting into my groove there. Wait, wait, there's more, there's more. The advent of the airship marked the realization of Baron's dreams, but also the birth of its militarism. Militarism? M militarism? Yo, guys, you're going to have to let me know in the comments down below. How do you pronounce that word? Because, yo, with the Royal Air Force Red Wings, Baron soon reigned supreme. Now as monsters multiply and stir unrest, Baron only exploits its power to collect the world's crystals. Why? Why? Why, Baron? Why? You got so much power. Why do that with it? The crystals silently shed their light. I think I could be a good narrator for Lord of the Rings. Yeah, or any sort of epic movie like that. I think I could do the narration pretty well, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. You think I should quit my day job? All right, now that we're on the world map, let's have a look at our new character, Kane. Right, he's got similar stats to Cecil. Obviously, his speed is slightly higher, with his strength being marginally lower. Although his intellect rating is the same as Cecil, so a Master Dragoon and the Captain of the Red Wings Dark Knight, they're not really intelligent. That's what you're telling us. Okay, so where Cecil has darkness, Kane has iron. So if Cecil is dark, Kane is iron. Just a little bit of trivia here. You can see that Kane is holding his weapon in his left hand. And there we have his ability jump. This ability really does have its uses. 
uh, we'll test it out in battle soon enough, that's for sure. But you can see, it really is a an attack that takes a little bit more of charge time, but does massive damage, so it's more than worth it. Before we head off on our adventure, Ken and Cecil both need to take a bit of a pee, so we're going to take a quick gander into the town of Baron. So you just move right or left into either one of them, takes you to the same place, promise you there's no difference. I really hate this town theme, I don't know why. Let's head into this shop and check what they got first. Right, this is the sundry shop where you can see there's potions, tents, antidotes. Okay, I've explained what most of these things do already, but they're pretty self-explanatory. Antidote's gonna cure poisons, eye drops is blindness, maiden's kiss is toad. Potions are your basic restorative item. What they do is they're going to restore 100 HP and the Phoenix Downs bring back allies that are KO'd. Phoenix Downs more than anything are the most useful item here. Gold Needles, they are right, but there's no enemies that cause Petrify right now, so there's no need to stock up on any of these things right now. Gasol Greens again, we don't need any of these right now. Besides, why pay for them when we can just get them for free? Head all the way over here and examine this spot and you'll find a potion. Right now, there's a lot of other stuff here to do. A little bit of items and we're going to go and find some of them. You know, RPG things. If you head into this tree, you go right there and you'll head, find a hidden passageway. Now just follow it around over here to the grass and we'll search through here for some hidden treasure chests. The best way to find them in the grass is walk in one direction until you can't walk anymore and then press the X button and you'll find the item. Like that, we've got a gold needle. Um, the best thing to do here is just explore through the grass, don't worry, you won't find enemies, this isn't Pokemon until you can't move in any direction anymore and there you go there's another one phoenix down and i'm just gonna go ahead because i know where this one is another phoenix down right now head back we're not yet complete there's still a little bit more items to be found around here if you'd like talk to this lady I'm not going to because it's really it's really fun and entertaining to watch and I would do not want to spoil it for you guys so talk to her if you want I'm not going to and we need to get down to that waterway and this guy does not want to move he does not want to move and it's irritating me let's move away give him some off-screen time there we go I mean really no really really is that what we're gonna do he does not want us to get in that waterway okay finally the bitch is out of the way Head all the way down through this and search around here. You'll find a tent and a bronze hourglass. You know, to be honest, I have no clue what this bronze hourglass does. I have never really used it in my playthroughs ever. I'm not one that goes for items. I like to use magic instead. But let's check what it is for the sake of this walkthrough. Okay, it casts stop for a short period of time. You know, actually that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> it would make a lot of battles easier. I'm just not one that relies on status effects usually I'm um, very direct and straightforward we're not quite done looting just yet guys so head through the town again and you can see the equipment and armory is locked so we can't do anything in there the devil's road okay we can't go through there and down here is the trading classroom these guys will give you useful information about how the battle system works but you have me so you don't really need them to give you any information and if you talk to this bunny over here He'll offer to change your names. Well, haven't I been bitching about someone's name a, a few minutes earlier? Yeah, but I really hate the name Cecil, but I can't think of a better one right now. And for purposes of this walkthrough, I'm going to stick with the default. So, sorry Cecil, you get to keep your really, really horrible name. And for that, that's just about everything to do in Baron. So, let's exit the screen. And that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. So... I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. I recommend you do the same. This is very important guys, save as frequently as you can because you really never know if this boss is gonna hit you or if you're gonna get a really rare random encounter that's gonna nail you or you know perhaps you just left your HP too soon and you get nailed. Just, just be careful alright and save as often as I can. And until next time, I'm out.